Cody, it's become an essential part of our life now. That phone that you're using to watch this on, or the computer you're watching, it was made by programs and coders. Everything that you do in life, online, or in school, or anything essentially now, is run by code. Now, wouldn't it be awesome to be able to kind of code yourself and code a website? Well, in this tutorial and this series, I am going to be teaching you how to code HTML websites with a little bit of CSS. I really do hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to put a comment and a like saying that you did, and I will see you guys right now. So first we're going to start off with the basics. Go ahead and make a folder and put two notepad files in there. Name one anything you want, but make sure you change the extension from .txt to .html. This is a crucial step to making the website work. Websites are just one big HTML file. Today we're going to give the basic structure and bones of the website. HTML is just the basic skeleton and CSS is what makes it pretty. Now name the other text file style sheet but make sure it has a CSS extension. If you do not know how to do that, there are several tutorials online. Just look it up and you should be good. Anyways, we're not gonna use that CSS file at all today, but we will be using it a lot in the future. So go ahead and right click your HTML file and open it with any text editor. I like basic notepad, but any text editor will work for this. And if you have a coding program, it will probably make your life a lot easier. I know that Notepad++ is a great one, and it is free. So with that HTML file we're editing, we're going to make 5 pairs of tags. Tags are just what you see to start off a code. The tags you're going to need is doc type, HTML, HTML, head, title, and body. Now that you have seen these tags, you may be wondering, Jacob, what the hell do these mean and do? Well, my friend, that is what I'm going to do right now. So first off, the doctype tag tells your computer what type of file it is. Doctype stands for document type. So if it is HTML, doctype will tell the computer, yo man, we need to use this as an HTML. The HTML tag is basically just a doctype tag. It gives your computer the instructions to make an HTML file. Now, head is everything you don't see. It gives it a title and can link it to a CSS style sheet, which we will do further down the line. But the title tags are pretty self-explanatory. They just give the page your title. Now for the last, the body tag is everything you see. Your pictures, videos, text, titles, and everything. Now that you're familiar with all the tags, we could actually start coding. Copy the layout you see in the video right now. This to me is the neatest way to have it. So now that you have the title tags in between the head tags, put the title that you want. This will show up in the tab of the web page you made and that is it. Next up, you need to go to the body tags. There are three types of ways to make a visible title for your page. The h1 tag, h2 tag, and h3 tag. The lower the number, the bigger the text. The H1 text is the biggest, and the H3 tag is the smallest. So choose what you want. Just make sure that you close it off with the slash at the end tag. In between the type of tag that you choose, type in whatever you want. It can literally be anything. There you go, you now have a visible title on the page. Now for the actual text. The P tag is what gives it your text. P stands for paragraph and will give it the ability to show your text. There you go, you have just made a simple web page. But wait, you may be saying, well Jacob, that's great and all, but what about the pictures? I want freaking pictures. Well, my fellow needy friend, I will show you this right now and more. For an image, you need the IMG tag. Now this is a self-closing tag, so it doesn't require anything but that one tag. But here's the thing, you put SRC, an equal sign, and two quotation marks. Now in between the quotation marks, put the image source link in between the quotation marks. I chose this badass picture of my dad's plane.
There you go. But hey, you want links on your page too, right? Well, you need a A tag. But in the A tag, you need to put href equal sign and two more quotation marks. And the page link in between those quotation marks and put any visible HTML tag in between the opening and closing A tags. It doesn't just work for text, remember that. The image tag works the exact same way. So you can use images for links. There you go, you now have made a web page with the title, text, images, and hyperlinks. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and did learn from it. If you haven't yet, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd love a new addition to my pilots. This has been Jacob or the Adamac, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!